गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रोलोथेरेपी प्रोलोथेरेपी इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ प्रोलिफरेटिव थेरेपी बेसिकली इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ स्कलरोथेरेपी नो वॉट इज दैट बेसिकली यू वॉन्ट टू इंजेक्ट समथिंग विच कॉजेज प्रोलिफरेशन ऑफ सॉफ्ट टिश्यूज दिस प्रोसीजर वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाय ए यू एस बेस्ड सर्जन नेम्ड जॉर्ज हैकेट this procedure is used for joint ligament and tendon problems as opposed to sclerotherapy which is predominantly used for veins and varicose veins related problems now there are three types of substances which are used for a prolotherapy the most commonly used substance is a hypertonic dextrose dextrose is basically nothing but regular sugar and we can inject high concentration of sugar into the cell the usual concentration that we use is 12.5 to 25% of dextrose and what it does is it causes as osmotic rupture of the local cells which causes proliferation in the localized area the second thing which is used is called as p2g that is called as phenyl phenyl glycerin glucose this is also causing a local cell irritation and causes proliferation in a particular area the third thing is used is a marvet sodium and this in e attracts the inflammatory mediators now what it does is the water prolotherapy does it increases the pain and the swelling in the particular area and it it causes an inflammatory response in the localized area so this therapy may be painful for a initial period of time specifically this causes fibrosis so this is used in those areas which are legs because it makes fibrosis and it causes fibrosis and will lead to stiffness now you must realize there are some conditions in which prolotherapy does not work they are conditions like ligament injuries there is no role of prolotherapy meniscus injuries there is no role of prolotherapy rotator cuff injuries rotator cuff tears no role of prolotherapy shoulder dislocations no role of pro prolotherapy shoulder stiffness or frozen shoulder no role of prolotherapy then the question arises in your mind where is prolotherapy beneficial so prolotherapy has got some role in problems such as low back pain problems relating to sacroiliac joint dysfunction it has role so if you have localized pain over the sacroiliac joint it has got some role it has got a documented role in tennis elbow so if you have a tennis elbow and localized area of acrb which has got tendinosis then you have a role of prolotherapy because it initiates proliferation in the acrb tendon area then you have a role in achilles tendinitis you have a role in plantar fasciitis you have a role in coccydynia so in local area you identify the area where the, there is inflammation and in the coccyx and you can inject prolotherapy into that region so grossly speaking it is restricted the use is restricted to overuse tendinopathy specifically if the symptoms are more than 3 months and it is still considered as an experimental therapy not a very proven thing but yes it does initiates fibrosis and proliferation and so in some restricted indications it can be used if you have any more doubts or queries regarding prolotherapy you can put up on the comment box thank you